And recently I've been getting a bunch of messages asking me how I deliver them for my short form content agency, uh, how I deliver that A star result so that I can keep my client retention high. So I'm gonna go through today what I would do uh, and how we actually deliver for our short form content agency, A to Z, what you're gonna be doing. And then I'm gonna also show you how you add a monetization and bull system in place uh, and how to actually do that if you're, if you're going that route. So I'm gonna jump straight into it and I'm gonna sort of go through what you can offer them, how to offer it to them and how to actually get the best results. So number one, when you're starting a short, uh, we wanna be looking at the hook. So let's say we've just signed a client, we've onboarded them. Now we wanna give them the hook so they can start recording their first videos. So this is how it will go. So what is a hook? A hook is what you say at the start of a video to stop them from scrolling and get them hooked. So you know, you, you see like maybe like Gary Vee or something is like, how I made 5 million in two years, right? Something like that to grab your attention, hook you and keep you there for the short. So example, the number one reason you're broke. So it directly calls out someone, calls out a certain niche and makes them actually have to watch the rest of the video. So why you need to use a hook? It's gonna spark their emotions and speak to the audience, highlighting something important they're interested to know about. So it just needs to spark some sort of emotion. This could be anger, happiness. It could be interest. It could be absolutely anything. Just make sure you spark that emotion because it's just like, I went to get short form content client. It's dead, isn't it? It's like, why you can't get short form content clients? I'm calling out the niche. I'm sparking their emotion. And then uh, I obviously go from there. So if you have no hook, your retention time and en engagement will decrease. So your short form content will not be pushed. So this is why hooks are so key and it's number one. And I'd always recommend you guys giving hooks to your um, clients because if they're not using the right hooks, your results look bad. But in turn, it's, it's their fault for, for not having hooks. So I've linked down in the description the 40 hooks that we give to our clients because you can obviously add to this, but it's just nice range 40 down in the description. So if you want to get that, um, click, it'll be like the top or second link um, for, for the 40 hooks where you can just give to your clients completely free, whatever, no 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 strings attached right so that's that's the hooks now they've hooked the audience we now need to script the rest of the video to keep it engaging to keep them there uh, and get get them to that 80 percent plus point so why a script scripts help you be clear and get straight to the point without wasting time if i didn't have this like sort of powerpoint laid out right now i'd be going off on tangents i wouldn't really know what i'm saying i wouldn't really know what i'm doing so having a script directly getting to the point allows you to articulate a story without going off on diversions and and wasting the the actual person's time which will in turn make them click off so not having a script can uh, result in low retention as there is no clear structure to what you're saying so how you write a script your main goal is to articulate a point while keeping it engaging uh, avoid using filler words and cut out any wasted time it needs to be on top of uh top it needs to be to the point and uh all, all people will scroll right so if it's not okay how I made 5 million in, in one year. So uh, firstly, I went to this and I did this. If it's not direct straight, bang, bang, bang. And it's like, how I made 5 million in two years. So basically we started out back in the day when it was like 1945 and that like, do you know what I mean? Then the, it, you're taking too much time. You're wasting my time. I'm scrolling. I don't like the, the people that you're appealing to here have the shortest attention spans ever. So making sure that you can script right and you can hook right is perfect. Okay. Sometimes your clients may not want scripts and hooks, but I would really recommend you trying to give them scripts, trying to help them with hooks, just to show them, look, yeah, you can do it this way, but look how much better our, ours performs, right? And, and, and you can sort of get the, the, the idea and the sort of grasp for it. So um, here's a millionaire's secret to making new friends. Be approachable. What you, do you do to be able to be approachable? Dress good, smell good, and smile. The way you look approachable and people will speak to you, which can build friendships upon from here. So firstly, we've called out uh, a target audience, people that want to make new friends. And here's a millionaire secret. So it shows that they've actually have some authority in the market. So I'm going to carry on watching. Be approachable. You've made it. But why? Okay. What do you mean? So I've, I've, I've asked a rhetorical question. So then I'm engaged uh, because I've literally just asked that question in my head, right? Uh, I've listed off three things. And then, and then again, you're like, why? So you carry on watching to the end. Um, and, and yeah, it'll just keep looping. So hook at the start, stated how, then stated what it took, then concluded. This builds up the story. Oh shit. Uh, this builds up the story, uh, momentum, and keeps people watching from the hook as they have to, like, they have to obviously find out because it's very hard if you have a very good hook. This is why hooks are so key. If you can get a very good hook, it's hard to not watch till the end because you want to know what happened. You want to know how. You want to know why. Again, okay? it, it's them sort of emotional pain point questions that you're trying to get to the audience. It's like the hows, the whys, the whats, the whens that will really keep them hooked. 
because they need to find out the their, 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 their question in the head. So after the script, this is the most important part and this is how you actually get the engagement and you get it to get pushed even more. So how to add value? There are a few main ways, uh, which is value, entertainment and story. So obviously the value that you can give to someone is uh, me telling you how to run Facebook ads. I'm directly targeting my audience of, of SMA, right? So, uh, or like coaches, consultants, people that are running Facebook ads, and then I'm giving them even more value. This works perfectly if you're doing a monetizationable system because it, it, in place you can then add like, okay, you can add um, lead lead magnets on top of the problem that you're solving, the value that, that you're given, or entertainment or a story. So you, but, but they need to, at the end of it, feel like they've gotten something they've taken something away from it they've taken something valuable okay in every video you should uh, aim at one thing to teach um it's so such as teaching barbers how to do a skin fade i know it's very random but like if your niche is barbers you'd then show them and give them advice and give them value or tell stories or entertain them based off of your niche so let's say you have a realtor it'd be based off of that so then you're attracting more realtors into your customer's uh, client base right um why value is so important you need to give value in return for value okay the more value you give the return back eg follows payment etc so the more value that you can actually give to them so they can actually take away the more value that they feel like they can reciprocate back to you this is reciprocating tendencies very normal right so it could be a follow okay so after the follow let me give them more value in a lead magnet okay so the value that i'm giving um i can then um, obviously give them whatever's in the lead bucket. Now they're in the Facebook group, I can give them more uh, in the Facebook group. So now that they can pay me with a payment, right? So it keeps adding more value and more value. If no, uh, if in no way it provides some sort of value, it will not do well, okay? You need value, otherwise your, your uh, short is pointless. If you go and watch anything, it's gonna have something to do. It's gonna bring you some sort of enjoyment, value, some sort of something to have, uh, spark your emotions. And yeah, so value, how to run Facebook ads. I'm targeting and giving value to people who want to learn how to run Facebook ads. So in return, I will be compensated. So let's say I had a course or a lead magnet saying, look, this is how you run Facebook ads. Their problem, I've targeted them and, and it's obviously their problem. So in return, they will join either the lead magnet or try and pay me for my course, okay? And this is how we're gonna be actually getting the, turning them into warm leads and turning them into actual, um, into monetizationable audience by actually giving this value so then they can give you value back. And this is why short form so valuable because I, I know I see all the time like, oh, short form said short form's this. But it's like, if yeah, it's dead if you're just offering short form. But if you can monetize an audience and you know how to give value and you know how to script right, you know how to hook and you know how to completely shift that, because people were sitting there. Now, I've worked with people before and they've got like 30,000 um, followers. They, 100,000 followers and they just can't monetize it like, no matter how much they have they just can't monetize that audience and that's something people struggle with so much and that's why it's your job to actually help them monetize and that's why it's such a good um, industry at the moment so the edit now why you need engaging edits it can stop a scroll as people are intrigued by the captions um, it can keep people in the video as it is engaging I know sometimes a lot of people like scroll on mute so it's very easy for them to just follow captions and just get minded that's why people put in like GTA clips or subway servers you just get distracted by them so that's why captions as well um how to produce ed engaging edits find someone who has that that uh, you want so let's f say me for example obviously this wouldn't work but like if you're like okay that's really cool how do you get your edits you pay that editor uh, to then make training programs on how they edit and then send it to your editors to learn off so work on sounds captions effects colors and b-rolls these are the main things that you should be working on uh, and you want to give to obviously editors below you and this is obviously uh, short that we do um so then music so using trending sounds use trending sounds and mute them if you need even if you go on uh tiktok or something mute the trend you can even mute it and use your own audio but just as long as it gets pushed into that category it will do a lot better okay and try to avoid uh music outside of the app uh as it can harm your growth uh if, if you don't have it on because it will just block you and it will just like shadow ban you because they want to push their own music because they actually get money in, in return for you using their music so this is uh obviously an app that you can use to see obviously the charts and, and what's really popular at the moment what's really not popular uh, the same exactly with with hashtags, right? So hashtags and keywords. Hashtags, find apps to find winning hashtags, which you can do on here, right here. 
um, in that niche and stick with them. Limit to like five or you can generally get shallow banned, but just they don't help that much, but they can help like sort of people to find you. It's like it's like that extra 1%, right? Uh, the keywords, you use keywords uh, which you pe think people would be looking up for that niche. So let's say I'm in a realtor niche. I would be looking up uh, keywords on like how to sell, how to make, right? How to make money, money, like money, sell, stuff like that. They trigger keywords that you want to be like sort of looking at and uh, to people actually going to type it up um, and it will fit the, what they're looking for, okay? So post it. Um, it's been shown that scheduling apps can hurt the growth of your shorts and uploading from other countries as well. Either use apps like Loomly or Go High Level. Post uh, for them if they let you have access to their account, but it's very rare. Sometimes they'll just post, but if you want to take it all over, uh, hire a VA who uses a VPN to post on their account or they can post. Or you can try with scheduling apps, but I have just noticed that the obviously it does affect it a little bit, right? So the checklist uh, stop and scroll uh, and grab an attention so hooks and scripts get to 80 plus retention this is where your shorts going to get absolutely boosted because 80 percent plus is very good 100 percent plus is when you're going to start going viral and massive numbers high engagement uh, value controversial etc to keep people engaged to keep people liking commenting i mean i had a tiktok the other day where People, people were just commenting and commenting and commenting. That's what's just going to get pushed even more, right? So this is how you're going to get your actual viral short. So as a quick overview, you're going to get your client. Obviously, that's our, watch my videos are like how to book three to four meetings, how to generate 30 meetings a month, whatever. Uh, I've got a bunch of videos on how to generate the meetings. I've got videos on how to close the meetings. Now it's service delivering. And this is how you deliver for short form content if you're just doing short form content. Now, if you've got a monetizationable system, this is what you're going to be doing. And I want you to pay close attention because this is what you should really be getting into. So you need to build a community and lead magnet if they do not already have one. So a free lead magnet can be a free video or webinar, uh, an ebook, absolutely anything where you're just giving, providing value in return for their email. So make sure you capture the leads using a software like GHL for them to add tags and track the leads. Um, if, if, if you're interested in getting GL, uh, GHL at the moment, please message me on Discord. Uh, I can get you a sort of deal at the moment. And I can sort of show you about what you do. So if you are interested in that, you're looking for monetizationable systems, which you will need this for, please let me know, right? So add them onto a mailing list uh, to try and convert them while building it up for a client. This is what we've really gone into recently is, okay, so every single time that I get a lead, I can add them all automatically into like an email automation where it just follows up instantly. Like there's not even, I don't have to do anything. After like two weeks of following it up and, and it hasn't been converted into a sale, they then go get tagged again and they go into an email list where I can send an email and try and keep converting and keep converting. Uh, add them into a community such as Discord or Facebook depending to the target audience. So these two here means you have their email and they're all, already in a community. So there's two ways to target them and there's two ways to actually turn them into um, paying paying customers for your client. Um, for acquisition, how to get people in. Every seven to 10 videos have a call to action uh, and every one to two videos have the video giving value to a problem based on what the free lead magnet provides. So direct it so let's say again like it's facebook i'm, I'm giving them a lead magnet on how to run facebook ads i want two out of my videos to be directed towards facebook facebook ads and at the end you can be like if you're struggling with facebook ads please click the link in my description i've got a full free course no strings attached uh, which can actually help you out so also spread the content across all channels to reach more people your goal is just bringing hundreds of people into the community and into the mailing list and this is where you can generally show your uh, client and be like look we've been able to get this many people and we can obviously convert them and this is how you keep the retention so high because I've had one month where you can bring in 500 people and then it's like, oh, we need the next five months to actually um, to convert these into paying clients. And that's where they pay you long retainers to actually convert every single one. And the ROI, you can pay them literally based on how much they're making, how much increased revenue you're bringing to, to reduce the risk. So converting the leads. Add a VA to go around all the leads in the group and build an outreach script for them to convert them into paying clients. If you don't know how to book calls yourself, uh, again, I've got videos on how to book calls and you literally just implement the same systems into their business um, so it can actually help them. So the people you have in the email list send emails daily, writing stories, giving value, etc. And every few emails, sell them on your client's service. Okay, so it, from now and then you can be like, uh, you can give like a motivational post, you can give like a value post, giving them more value on maybe the lead magnet that they clicked on. 
um, stories and just stuff like that. Uh, and every few at the bottom, you can just be like, look, if you're want it, willing to learn more, if you want to take the jump, if you want to elevate your life or whatever, based on what, whatever you said in the email, you can then link the link, whatever the course is or, or the book a call or something like that. And this is how you're going to convert, convert the leads massively because they might say no to the VA and it's very hard to then follow up to a dead lead on a VA, but they might read the emails after, after four weeks and, and still sign on. So you're hitting it from two angles. Um, which, which really helps. So yeah, that's how you deliver for short form content. Uh, I hope you guys understood it. If you've got any questions, please let me know down below. Um, and yeah, I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace.